Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. In this video, I'll share with you the unboxing experience and take a close-up look at the Dell multi-device keyboard and mouse. After that, I'll do a typing demo so you can hear the clicking sound of this mouse and the typing sound of the keyboard. While I show you the unboxing and close-up shots of this keyboard and mouse, I'll tell you my story why I bought this keyboard and mouse combo. Because I keep buying monitors from Dell, Dell keeps rewarding me with gift vouchers for their online store. I went back to buy another monitor and I got more vouchers. If Dell's marketing strategy is to get customers to keep buying from their online store using their gift vouchers, I think they've definitely got me hooked. With the vouchers plus their occasional discount, I'm buying Dell products at half the original price. So, my latest purchase is this Dell keyboard and mouse combo and the Alienware Horizon Utility Backpack. Follow the link appearing on the top right to watch the backpack video. So this keyboard has two tilt angles. The corner studs can be flipped out to raise the keyboard to a higher tilt angle. And this is the battery compartment that takes two AA batteries. I noticed there is a USB receiver storage compartment, but without the USB receiver inside. This is because the keyboard and mouse combo comes with a single USB receiver that is inside the mouse. The cover of the mouse is magnetic, like my Logitech M350 Pebble mouse. There are three holes, but only two of them at the sides have magnets. The amount of documentation that is attached to this label is a bit crazy. I don't know why they need to have so many things on that label. Now let's take a look at the USB receiver. Well, actually, it's a pretty standard USB-A receiver. Nothing special about it. Oh, and the storage compartment for this USB receiver is magnetic too. It's good that Dell included three AA batteries for both the keyboard and mouse. And finally, this is the manual. If you want to read them, get ready to pause the video in the next six seconds. I have two computer desks for my latest setup. For my desktop computer, I'm using Microsoft Designer Compact Keyboard. And for my dual laptop desk setup, I'm using my Logitech K780 and M720 Triathlon mouse to switch between two laptops. So why do I need another keyboard and mouse? It's because I intend to bring my own keyboard and mouse to the office to work. And this multi-device Dell keyboard and mouse actually fit my use case pretty well. And I bought it at a discount price because of the gift voucher. So at the office, I can easily switch between my office laptop, personal laptop and my phone because of this multi-device keyboard. And the switching is fast, reliable and pretty smooth. The other good thing is the sturdiness and the construct of this keyboard. Because Dell uses a trapezium geometric design for the battery compartment at the back of this keyboard, it's really strong and doesn't flex at all. I'm confident this keyboard will survive my brutal handling if I just throw it into my Alienware Horizon backpack. Compared to my other two keyboards, my Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard is too thin, flimsy and fragile. I don't think it can be used as a portable keyboard. And as for my Logitech K380, the spaces are too close, too claustrophobic for me to type on for the whole day at the office. I've tried that for a few days. No, it doesn't work. And as for my K780, it's way too heavy. Now that's the reason why I say this Dell keyboard fits my use case pretty well. As for the Dell mouse, it's good and reliable, like all Dell products. However, the ergonomic feel is not as good as my favorite Logitech M720 Triathlon mouse. 
this mouse from Dell feels kind of cheap. Maybe because of the plastic and it's very light. Well, being light can actually be a plus point because it's lighter to carry in my backpack. It really depends on how we see it. Even though it doesn't feel as good as my Logitech M720 triathlon mouse, the shape is ergonomic enough for my medium-sized hand, and I can use it for the whole day without any trouble. By the way, it's not obvious, but the scroll wheel has left and right clicks for the horizontal scrolling, and those left and right clicks are reconfigurable in the app. The multi-device indicator lights and switching buttons is located along the spine of the mouse. And switching between devices is reasonably fast and smooth, like the Dell keyboard. Okay, I'll keep quiet now and let you listen to the sound of the mouse clicking and me typing on this keyboard. While we are on the topic of typing, the lowest typing tilt angle is actually pretty high. However, I do note that I'm used to my Logitech K780 and Microsoft Designer keyboards, which are both really thin. And with the typing experience, it's really good. The keys are really tactile and the travel distance is just right. I've only used this keyboard and mouse combo for a couple of days at the office and I haven't really had any issues with it. If you like to see how easy and fast we can connect this Dell multi-device keyboard and mouse to a Windows 11 laptop, click on this video appearing on the screen. In this next video, I'll also show how fast this keyboard and mouse switches between multiple computers and take you through the Dell Peripheral Manager application to reconfigure the buttons on this Dell keyboard and mouse. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you over there.